How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. Welcome back to Learning SRPG Studio. In this episode, we're going to take a look at talk events, how to start them, how to set them up, and how to use them in game. I've got a test map here. We're going to go into the map settings. I've set up four skeletons, or skeletons, and one player starting event. I have an opening event that's going to take place at the beginning of the game. I have an auto event that's going to happen when all the enemies are dead. Zero enemies are alive, then the this auto event is going to happen to complete chapter one. But in this episode, I want to go over talk events. So what are talk events? Inside the battle, I think it's better if I just kind of show it to you and then we'll come back in here. So let's test play the game. You awaken in a dark and dank cave. Your senses detect movement nearby. You should be on guard. And Drift appears. Where am I? I should look for a way out. Several skelly men's are moving around. You seem to have attracted their attention. Oh great, it looks like I'm gonna have to fight my way out of here. So you start the battle, you fight. A talk event is when two characters are next to each other. You get an option if there is something in the database. So I could attack them, but I could also choose to talk with this character. So when you talk with them, it's going to run the talk events. Whoa, what are you? Ah, scaly mans! Also, inside of a talk event, you can have battle if you want. So even though I didn't choose to use my sword, the skeleton attacked me in battle. And well, I attacked him, basically. So talk events are just a place to run an auto event that you can have anything happen. So we'll walk up, and I can attack him, and it's the same thing that'll happen. I've made all the skeletons drop a cure leaf to make the game easy. We'll talk to him, and he'll say, Rah, skelly mans. Now, for every enemy, you'll have to set up a different number. I'm gonna go over that in the database. So, what can happen is you can talk to this one and end up getting into a fight with a different person on the map. You can force that if you wanted to. But it makes sense that the one that you're talking to is the one you fight. Oh, we leveled up. You take a quick look around and you see no more alive or unalive creatures. I've got to find a way out of here. After checking around this area, you come to the conclusion that this is an easily defendable position. Perhaps it would serve as a decent temporary base. I'll use this area to set up a temporary base. And we can save our game. And we are at our base here save it, manage our team, and etc. Let's look at the maps database on the talk events. So you can see that we have four talk events right here because if I go to enemies, I'm just gonna go to unit mode and double click, you'll see that I have four different enemies. Skeleton one, two, three, and four. Each of them is, even though they look the same, they are four independent different enemies. So we'll go back to the talk events. In this first one, on the create event, you select the source, you can decide who's going to talk to what. You could make it so that only a certain character could talk to animals, Dr. Doolittle style or whatever. We only have one character, so the source is Drift. If you're controlling Drift and you're next to him, you can issue a talk command to the first skeleton. So you'll have to make sure that you're selecting the right one for this one. So we're just gonna start with the one and the string we're gonna be using is talk, the built-in one. You'll say okay. Now inside of this event, you create new events and you can have it do whatever you want. I'm just showing message, which is this one right here, show message. You give a name, you select a face for that. You type in the dialogue you want it to say and the position. I'm saying at the top, we're gonna have a text and actually we'll make him at the bottom respond, scaling mans. And then what I put in here is a force battle. So the force battle is over here. You go to select event command, you click on the battle tab and you click force battle. When you do that, a force battle menu will pop up and you select the attacker and you have to specifically select the right, the, the enemy that you want to fight. You can't have them all scale man one or it will try to initiate a fight with the same enemy that you may not be talking to. And you create the action hit, a simple hit. So you can have like in a certain talk event that the player uses a specific skill. You can decide if they get experience for that or if it's any kind of difficulty setting. I just set it to default, but you can change all these things. And on the second one, what's different here is, well, I've actually moved this to bottom, so we'll continue to do that. And the force battle, if we look at the defender, you see it's on Skeleton 2, because that's the one who's going to be in the combat. And the same thing over here, we'll move this to the bottom, and Skeleton 3 will be the unit type. And we're selecting Skeleton 3 for the destination 
of the event and the force battle. So over here where we have Skeleton Man 4 inside the events, we're also selecting Skeleton Man 4. Skeleton Man 4. That'll make it so that when you talk to that skeleton, Skeleton Man, that you start a combat with the right unit. That's pretty much it. That's how talk events work. They are an option to attacking. You could make a pacifist type game if you're into that sort of thing. Or you could just make uh, more flavor text. You can have your enemies say something before they initiate a battle. That's going to do it for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter, I am at Driftwood Gaming. If you want to come hang out in the Discord, I have a link in the description below. Come chat with us. We'd love to see what you're up to. If you'd like to support what I do on this channel, please consider backing me on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash driftwoodgaming. Remember to stay awesome, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.